Look guys, Chris brought Clifford back. Looks about the same. Looks about the same. You can try just getting it started on the trailer. Uh, I don't think that's good enough. I like it. I can just get one of those quick release things. Cause you already had that. <laughs> Not quite NASA approved, but. When was the last time you checked the plugs? Oh, we need full plugs. What is what is motherfucker? All right. Oh, you didn't? You didn't put an antifreeze in it? Meant to and never did. That creamy motherfucker. Yep. You might toast her the fucking motor. Flush. This has got just pure water in it, right? Oh, yeah. You might want to just flush the uh, oil all out, put new in it, and change the water. Might have a Ooh. gasket not holding. Because one, it's bubbling up here, which is telling me it's got a water leak. It might, yeah, it might have. So if it's coming up, it's going in. And water mixed with oil is going to make that color. Yeah. So it might have gone ahead gasket. I'd say Could even be an intake. intake. Yeah. Because, man, it's. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it filled this fucker right up and it's spitting it all the way up to here. Mm. And I was catching some right over here too. There's some right there. Where it's not even fucking sealed down. Yeah. I think I'd check all that first before I go change the motors. Oh, that's not the snook way. <laughs> <laughs> Leaking a little something underneath. All right, it is the next day. It is much nicer out today. We're gonna get to work on the truck and try to figure out some stuff on it. We're gonna change the oil and coolant and uh, I think the intake gaskets. Man, I hate pulling intakes off these. Oh yeah, there's a lot of water in there still. <laughs> I don't know why like an LS pulling the intake off seems so much easier than a small block. It's just so much more time consuming with these, but it's gotta get done, so let's get it done.
Well, the gasket looks like it's intact there, which is weird. Ripped right there. I think that's where from pulling it off though. Boy, that's a funny shade of oil. Let me drain the oil filter. Yeah, I'm hoping the battery doesn't die first. Oof. Oof. <laughs> that looks like fucking water. Yeah. I'm sure the bearings are fine. Oh, they, the gaskets look alright for the most part. <clears throat> Where they tore when I pulled it off. But. Yeah, and that's all that looks like to me is just they stuck to the intake when pulling the intake off. <laughs> that rust? No, it's a crack block. Is it? I yeah. Didn't, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, I can see a crack right there. Yeah, there's two of them. Right there. right there and there. You know. oh. Over here too. Yep. Yep. You right, you right. Oh, could have been done for 25 bucks in the antifreeze. <laughs> He's That's got this, where your water's coming from. He's got this way of making you feel like shit about the little thing. It's the yeah. stupidest fucking... Don't act like you haven't done it. <laughs> I am, and that's the re response I got. You dumb ass. How much does it cost to put antifreeze in? You could have drained the fucking water <laughs> out. Old bottom hose, anything. Like I said yesterday, hindsight's 20, 20. Yeah. Well, it's in this. I did it to a fucking motorhome. You can't get the motor out. <laughs> oh, just pull the body off. Luckily, my block broke on the outside. I just JB welded the fucker, Boom. and it's ran. Yeah, we drove it up north and back. It works. Well, let's just JB weld this. <laughs> For science, let's see how long it lasts. Well, look at it this way. It's early enough in the day. You can pull the motor, take all the shit out of this one, throw in that other block there. And dump it back in and almost have a run today. Oh, I bet we could. Oh, I know we could. I think I have new head bolts, too. I wouldn't worry about that. These aren't torqued to yield. I wouldn't worry about head bolts. I've never replaced new ones. <laughs> yeah, these aren't torqued to yield, so these get reused all the time. They're torqued by air gun. <laughs> <laughs> 250 yeah, foot pounds. Looks good to me. Well, how ambitious are we feeling? I'm here. <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> that is a fact. So we're going to throw everything on this engine because this one seems to be good. All the bearings look fine. This is... Unless we've got so many engines here, it's hard to keep track. I think this is the one we pulled out of the engine or pulled out of the truck, right? This is your old one from the truck? That's what that, your dad said. Yeah, that was supposed to be a 355. Looks to be a standard 350. Uh, the issue we were having was... Cam. Yeah, the cam started to flatten the lobe, so it was running like dog shit. But we have what should still be basically a brand new uh, XE274 cam that we'll throw in it. And then we'll just throw his heads and shit on it. He should be able to scrounge up enough gaskets and shit to get it all together. And hopefully get the truck running by the end of the day to uh, just destroy the garage floor with a burnout. Right? Right? Yeah. You heard it. Allow me to demonstrate the skill of Shaolin. gone. Oh, it's completely gone. And it blew that one out. Oops. Wow. One here. Completely gone? No, the mount holding it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Look how many engines we've had in Jack Black.
You got it backwards? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I don't. <laughs> So since both the motors are out of the trucks and Clifford, I'm refusing to call that truck anything other than Clifford. It has a stock stall in it. We're going to sell Chris the stall converter from Jack Black to throw that in it since the motor's out anyway. And then we're just going to buy the same converter and throw back in it once we're starting to put this thing back together. 10,000 stall! <laughs> oh, you're fucking heavy. <laughs> Look at that. Jesus. Look at that. That's a... Massive size difference. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's been a second since I've looked at a stock one. <laughs> this thing's gonna be a totally new truck by the end of the day. Yeah, no shit. That's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> I can set it right back on. You just really don't want to adjust those rockers. No! That's for yes. the choke. For the choke, for it to open up. Oh. Okay, we don't want to. All right, so what? Five hours later, yeah. give or take. Yeah. Got it all back together. Trans hooked up. It's converters hooked up. Close. We just have the distributor stabbed in right at uh, number one. Pretty snug fit there. Yeah, no shit. Do we? We don't have any coolant in it. Oh, yeah. We can just see if it fires first. We do have oil. Yeah, yeah, you, you poured it in the Don't in the valley. The valley. Yeah. Uh, leave the switch off and just crank it for a few times first. Yeah, and get some oil into the lifters. And yeah. Stuff. Once you see the oil pressure start coming up, then you can turn the switch on. I think it'll be fine. Whoa. Wow. Ruin this motor. <laughs> Are the floats filling up? Yeah. Right. Fucking timing 180 off? We'll find out. <laughs> it's acting like it's 180 out. Yeah, exactly. Bump it. Well, that was a big bump. <laughs> very little. I mean, just very. Perfect. Stop right there. Well, probably I didn't get it. It's 180 is pointing that way. Son of a bitch. I don't understand how we can do that. All right. Oh, well, that, the gas. that didn't last long.
Well, aside from the high idol, it sounded good. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I'll get it it's either. It's like it's, uh... There's a... There's something catching that them fucking things. It's so weird. Might have to leave that toggle switch off for a second. Almost sounded like there was a slight exhaust leak at that collector when you stand at the back. Probably, probably is. All right, let's see how she moves. What's up? too stiff now, so I can't use the pedal. So hold that right through there. I can take this one off. Hmm. I mean, it was stiff before, but oh, it pulled it right out of the back of the fucking. in there. Yeah, nothing was moving out here. <coughs> God damn it. It ain't going nowhere. Broke it? Yep. Damn it. Well, shit. God damn it. <coughs> Did it break it, break it? Yeah, hold it right through. Fuck. Well, all of them so, have been too... I don't know if they're too short or too long or... What? The throttle cables. I don't know. <sighs> this sucks. God damn it. Everything on this bitch seems to fight us. <laughs> That's everything lately. So close and defeated by a fucking throttle cable. What's the other truck out there, guy? We already stole that one. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. It's a real fuck you. Yep. Did all this work. Pulled the engine, swapped heads, cam, intake, exhaust, fucking everything. Got it all back in. Just in time to get kicked in the nuts. <laughs> yep. I was just gonna say that too. You know. What sucks is I've got that same throttle cable sitting on my bench at home. <laughs> like that exact same one. <clears throat> but if it's already not working, then... 
I can't understand why the carburetor's not going all the way back to where it's supposed to. It could be that throttle cable hanging up. Here it starts RPM, and then yeah, it freaked me out. <laughs> I was like, nope. I thought it wasn't spinning, so I just kind of Oh, you let off the brake? Just a all that fucker. He just yeah, it moved. I'm failing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, there. oh yeah. Like as soon as you could hear it starts RPM, I was like, all right, it's, it's spinning. Let's just have some fun. All right. Well, at least we got a little bit of wind. I'll take that. All right, so that's definitely gonna do it for today's video. It is getting pretty late, so we're gonna throw the hood on the truck and move it out, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time.